helicopters and rescue teams have been called to Elvert Bridge following an incident with students on Saturday evening. There have been unconfirmed reports of a £1,000 fine by police and a year suspension from the university. A passerby spotted them on an inflatable on the river. Since 2013, three students have died in the river, which is why emergency services have taken this incident so seriously. Loads of um, uh, fire trucks showed up, cop cars. Apparently they took it down out onto the river. I found out this morning because one of my mates is um, one of the firefighters' misses that uh, they all got found on it and I think there's been like a grand fine for each of them because it's illegal to go down on river. So it's just, at the end of the day, dumb, dumb people. Absolutely stupid. Like, it, the current was actually quite up last night, so if they, if they went hour, they were gone. It would have been a news article this morning saying there were some kids dead in the river. First time I've seen it personally, but we have heard stories about it before because people have fallen in the river before. People think it's a calm river, it's not. It gets actually quite um, steady when it gets going. Just don't be an idiot. Just, I don't, don't waste taxpayers' money. Don't get, send them, um, don't send the police and the fire force out when you're just in a rubber dinghy, mate. You, you're at Durham University, I guess they don't teach um, common sense. We've contacted Durham Constabulary for a statement, however, unfortunately we haven't received any response from them. We managed to get anonymous statements from the students involved in the incident. Quote, we were never more than 10 feet away from the shore and constantly checked the depth with a paddle. We weren't drinking on the boat and checked the river conditions before going out to make sure it was safe. End of quote. The scale of the emergency response on Saturday evening demonstrates how serious the risks presented by the river are. Follow us on social media at Palatinate TV for updates on the story and more. Thank you for watching Pal TV and stay tuned for future stories. Thank you.